read together. Today's book is called Not Quite Narwhal. It's written by Jesse Sima. And it's dedicated to Harry and Mary Ellen, who always brought rainbows into my life. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. Oh, look, he's got floaties on his legs. But his friends didn't seem to mind. So Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer. Kelp found himself at the, sur at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Do you see? Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. Oof, it wasn't. Ow. Eventually, he got the hang of it. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, Narwhals. Actually, we're unicorns. And by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. Oh, look, it's called a unicone. It looks like a snow cone or maybe an ice cream cone. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon. His new friends already miss him. Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. That means he felt nervous. Welcome home. Oh, look, the narwhals had a sign for him. They missed him too. Kelp! Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. Kelp was happy to be home. 
But now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then he realized that maybe, just maybe, he didn't have to choose. Oh, look, it looks like he asked his narwhal friends to come closer to the shore so that the narwhals and the unicorns could play together. I'm a unicorn. Um, <laughs> looks like that rhinoceros has something to learn. Thanks for reading with me.